assume uh, that uh, you've closed out your 3ds Max application, so I went ahead and started mine up uh, from scratch. Uh, today we're going to be addressing the problem areas uh, that we saw in the previous uh, video when we took the armor, looked at it in Skyrim, and said, "Oh, you know, it's not moving right." Uh, so we want to fix those areas, you know. And, and on a beginner level, uh, easy ways to fix areas is what we're going to focus on for now. In later tutorials, we'll get into more advanced. Uh, methods of fixing those uh, problem areas that we ran into. Uh, but for now, let's just keep it simple uh, so we can get on to actually creating something that's uh, you know, entirely custom after we get past the weight sliders uh, tutorials. Uh, so, first thing I'm going to do is I got my 3DS Max window open. I go up to the upper left hand corner, I open it up, I click on uh, import, and I go find our custom armor that uh, our, you know, uh, vanilla on a UMP body, custom, whatever. Uh, go to UMP custom armors, double click data, meshes, armor, hide, female, in test one, curious light underscore zero, that's what we're working with, and select open. Uh, okay, I look at my window here, anything I need to change, or all the, all these should never change, you should never even mess with those, so they should be the same. But in skeleton, notice we don't have a skeleton, so we're definitely going to want to check that box because we want to import the skeleton, so make sure that you have import skeleton selected. And then click import. After a few seconds, uh, it'll upload it. And sometimes it takes a minute. There we go. I move this uh, over. You know, I like to move that over by just getting in uh, in between all four windows and then left clicking and dragging. Uh, now I'm going to take a look here. Now remember, we had a problem area was right in here, underneath this arm. This strap was hooking to this arm. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this strap down, and to make it asymmetrical, we're also going to move this part of the armor to match how far we move this down. And we're just going to kind of eye that, uh, so it's not really a big uh, you know, difference, not noticeable in game. Uh, another problem area we had was uh, right here uh, in the hip area. Underneath the armor, there is actually something in here that was covering up the fact that the vanilla body didn't have uh, a full body. It had been cut off, so they placed a mesh circle in here. I'm just going to show it to you. You don't have to see this uh, right now. I'm going to click on Realistic, and I'm going to click on Hidden Line. That's going to show us something here. Uh, if I zoom in underneath the body, I'm zoomed in. You see these plates here? Those we can actually get rid of. They're not necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete those plates uh, because uh, we use the full body so we don't need something that makes it pretend like we're using a full body. So I'll be getting rid of those here in a second. Alrighty. I'm going to re-click on this, my left click, and then re-click realistic. Um, now if, uh, what was another area? We also had right here by the knees there was some weird flapping issues. What we're just going to do is we're going to move this part of the armor uh, up away from that. Just show you uh, different ways to uh, do it from a novice standpoint uh, without getting too advanced into item weights. We're just going to be moving these parts away and we're also going to delete some elements of the armor and then redo the BS Dismember skin modifier and also reskin the armor since we changed some of the vertice locations. So in order to start out, first we want to go ahead and select uh, the UMP body by clicking anywhere on the arm. Uh, left clicking and then right click and freeze it. Remember we covered that in the previous tutorials. Uh, freeze the body and as soon as it's frozen uh, we want to get around to <coughs> sorry to the back and we're gonna go up uh, close to these arms. Now we're gonna select the armor we're gonna go into modify we're gonna click on editable mesh and we're gonna select vertex now what we're going to do is uh, we will, we're, we don't want to move just one vertice. Remember we discussed this. We want to go to soft selection and we want to enable use soft selection. And then we're going to set this to, uh, I don't know, how about a 10? Because that's, uh, no, let's go down to a 7. I think 7 is a good number for this uh, little job here. So just delete that and make sure it's 7.0. You can uh, click on a vertice really close to the arm. Now notice this vertice is really close to where the problem area was. I can select this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select move. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this part of the armor away from this arm that it was sticking to. So I'm just going to, on the Z, I'm just going to move it down. Uh, go down pretty decently far. doesn't really matter how far you go. Uh, and we can also kind of move it inward closer to the body. You know, so I'm going to, on the X axis, I'm just going to move it a little closer to the body. So now it's away from that arm just a bit, you know, enough to where this shouldn't latch onto it. Now you can move around to the front, you know, select the different vertex, and, you know, maybe move it down a little bit. Just kind of get it away from the arm. You know, this is a novice way, very simple way of uh, getting these problem areas taken care of, is just moving things away from them. So that way when we reskin it uh, and put it back in game, it's not going to be attached to that arm. So remember, I moved it down a little bit, and I also moved it in a little bit. Now this side kind of hangs down further than the other side, so I want to match it up. So I'm going to look at the other side and kind of, you know, select one of the vertices and move it down a little bit. Now sometimes when you're moving, if you notice right here on this shoulder pad, it's a little light. So you could drop the fall off a bit more, or you can just move it down a little bit, release it, move it down a little more, release it, and that usually will help you do it. So... Now it uh, kind of needs moved in a little bit because it's sticking out further than this, so we'll move it in some with the x-axis. That looks pretty good moved away. We'll move around to the front. So remember, we moved it down kind of from right underneath the armpit. So we want to match it up by just kind of comparing each side to one another. And uh, you know, once, you, once it looks pretty good and you know this part of the shirt has moved away from that uh, problem area, uh, and when we reskin it, it's not going to attach to the arm anymore. It's going to match up on both sides pretty well, you know, and uh, maybe I went down a little too far. Let's move it up just a tad. Yeah, and there we go. See, it's moved away from the problem area. I won't have this belt, won't stick to that arm. And if it does again, of course, there's an easy way to fix that uh, by moving it a little further away, or we can, uh, you know, delete some. Uh, vertice wage, which is more advanced, but simple enough for this task. Alright, uh, second problem area was underneath the armor. Uh, now again, we're going to have to delete some things inside of the armor, actually get into removing elements of the armor. Before we do that, hmm, let's go ahead and handle this problem by the knees that we had. And uh, I was thinking just to, you know, to show you uh, that this is possible, what we're going to do is we're going to move this up. I'm going to take this whole bottom part of the armor, I'm going to kind of squish it up a little bit. This is just easy, uh, easy methods of, uh, you know, adjusting armors. Now to get a good, accurate grab on this, I'm going to, you know, click up here on my front view tab. Kind of, you know, if I hold my middle mouse button, I can move things around, you know, in here. Uh, and I'm going to left click in this area and kind of select uh, just above the knee a little bit. I'm going to left click off to the side of it and drag over till I have the entire armor, just like that. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to select uh, scale. Now with scale, what scale is going to do is scale is going to squish it, uh, move the vertices all together, and then we're going to move it up. So uh, right here, if you look real close, I'm on a Y axis. There should just be, there's kind of two three sections here. You can have it all highlighted. You can have just the Y axis or I can come into this window. It's a Z axis. Uh, you just want to highlight that. We'll do it up here. Highlight this and squish it so it moves like this. Just kind of get it decently squished. So as you have it decently squished, you're going to right click and you're going to select move. And then on the Y axis, we're going to move it up. Now see? It kind of molds together pretty good and you want to look in this viewport as you do it so it doesn't look stupid when you're done you know this is a really simple way of moving things away from problem areas uh, yeah, it's getting a little better let's go ahead and squish it maybe just a tad more and move it up so I want to grab more of it this time when I squish it so I'm gonna go up a little bit higher and I'm gonna go ahead and do it again I'm gonna right click and I select scale on the uh, y-axis, the up and down highlighted line here. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit more and then I'm going to uh, right click again and select move. Now, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just making the skirt shorter and also keeping an eye on the texture to make sure it doesn't look like I squished it. It doesn't look stupid. It looks okay. 
It doesn't look really dumb or anything. Uh, we could move certain parts of it kind of inward, like down here. We can move these closer in. We'll uh, deal with that after we fix the problem areas. Uh, we'll move certain parts of the body closer, but for now, or the armor closer. Uh, for now, we got to get underneath the skirt, and we got to get rid of these problem areas that we ran into before. In order to get a really good view, what we're going to do is we're actually going to hide the uh, other things in the scene that are not selected. Right now, we have the hide armor selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click anywhere in the perspective window, and I'm going to select unhide or hide unselected. And watch what happens. Only the armor appears now in my scene. So now I can actually deal with just the armor and not have to worry about anything else getting affected like the bones getting accidentally moved. Now you can see underneath, remember I stated before, if we look underneath the armor, there's that plate. That, uh, that plate only exists because the original vanilla mesh did not have a full body. So this hides the fact that the rest of it did not exist. It's the only purpose for it. Other than that, it's, it's kind of useless. It, uh, there's no other reason. And also, if I look from the top side, we also need to remove this section of the armor because underneath it, if you look where that is, that's just there to hide the fact that the body was not complete. That's its only purpose. So we can actually get rid of that section of the armor. The best way to do this is to use the element tool. Uh, over here you have vertex, edge, face, polygon, and element. We're going to select element and then we're going to go in here. Now I went to the bottom of the armor. I scrolled down using the little cube and I went underneath it and I'm going to select it. Wham! It selects a whole bunch of stuff. And if I just uh, move around to make sure that's all that got selected, you know, nothing else got selected, just the bottom half, that plate that we want to get rid of, uh, I made sure that's safe. So now I can just press delete on my keyboard. And now if I move back up, the outside appearance of the armor did not get affected by that, but all those stupid little platelets uh, that were underneath to hide the fact the body wasn't complete are gone. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scroll up to above the armor. Using a little cube, I'm going to move above the armor by right-clicking on it and moving it. I'm going to kind of get the best angle I can get so I can make sure I'm selecting the right part. And I'm going to go right above it and I'm just going to click on it. Oh, you see how that's not fully red? That's kind of like a, a mask. So we're going to have to delete two parts. There's a mask and then there's the actual uh, element that we want to remove. That mask is invisible. So we're going to delete this by clicking on it first and it's not 100% red. Delete that. Now it's black and then we're going to select it again. Ah, uh, now see it didn't select everything. So we may have to hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click another part of the element. I see it didn't get everything again. Now when you run into this kind of uh, situation, the best way I've found to handle it is to um, uh, use it in, uh, go up here to realistic, you're going to left click on it and go down to hidden line. Hidden line is going to show me the actual polygons that create the armor. Now what we want to do is kind of just eye what parts of that element that we don't need anymore. So, you know, I'm looking at it from a top view. I can see all this stuff is good. And I'm going to deselect use soft selection so I get a better look at exactly what I've selected already. Okay. Uh, this could go and this can go. And, you know, if I look, this right here can go. I'm going to kind of go around to the front. You know, and say, okay, what else can go? 